My name is Shane O'Neill. I'm from Boston. I didn't pick up a guitar until about four years ago. It's been fun. It's really, uh, I, I kick myself for not doing it sooner, but uh, I'm loving it. I loved music, so I just gave it a shot and bought a, a $250 Yamaha off the internet and just got it and put it in front of me and what do I do now, you know? And it's, it's, been, it's been fun to learn. And it, it's, it's a great time to learn how to play an instrument, I think, because there are so many tutorials on YouTube that 10, 12 years ago didn't exist. You'd have to go to somebody and pay to get lessons. Police and Sting are a huge influence. That's kind of my time. I grew up in the, in the late 80s, so not the pop music from the 80s so much as the kind of maybe alternative rock of the 80s. R.E.M., The Replacements, The Pixies, a Boston band. And then uh, segue into the 90s and you have bands like the Afghan Wigs and Buffalo Tom that are rock bands that play, but their songs are catchy enough that they're accessible. They're not hard rock, they're rock with melody. And I was always um, inspired by that kind of music. Probably the police, even though they're a trio and they're uh, sort of bass driven more than guitar. And I could never keep up with Andy Summers the way he plays guitar because he's such a unique advanced guitarist. But their songs drive me crazy. I mean, the melodies and the singing, uh, it, they were recorded in the late 70s and the early 80s. But if you put in a police album now, it would sound fresh, so fresh and alive. I produced this album independently and I was, you pay and you can get them. It's on every, it's everywhere. It's on Apple, it's on Amazon, it's there. People can hear it, but I'm not making any, I'm not making much money, any money from it. Whereas back in the day, when you put out a CD, someone had to go buy that CD and you would get a cut of it. So it's exciting time because independent artists can make music and get it heard. Making money has never been more difficult. My new album is called The Sun's Rising Fast. It's a line from one of the songs. Uh, the album has a combination of, so there are different flavors. I, to me, it, I feel like every song is, is a different genre almost, but I'm hoping that it sounds uniform when you listen to it all, all nine songs in a row. I knew when I wrote it, I want to write something that's uncomplicated, upbeat, uh, a song about infatuation, a song that everyone would like. But some, some of the other songs on the album are a little darker than that. They're a little more punk, have a punk sound to them. They're a little more aggressive. One thing I kept coming back to as I listened to the lyrics was the idea of not narcissism. It kept rearing its head in, in, in the songs, in the lyrics, in the themes. Just commenting on the, the world we live in, uh, how people have never had such an opportunity to promote themselves. I'm doing it right now, but I think you can go overboard with it when you're promoting every move you make during the day, every trip you go on, every good seat you have at a, at a, at a, at a Red Sox game. There's a song in the album called One From The Heart that addresses that pretty directly. Other songs come at it from a, you know, a little more, uh, a more vague, but narcissism found its way. It was a thread throughout the album. I think three songs on the album are straight up love songs about desire, about trying to find love. Like Sally was about like unbridled infatuation that's returned and, and how uh, good that feels. I think a good, tough love song is, is something that can go a long way. And I tried to have like three softer songs on the album, not musically, but like thematically about, you know, the human heart. And, and then some of the other songs are, ang are angry, you know, so. But I want, I, I was, I'm, I'm still hoping that, that it has a uniform sound. I'm a solo act right now. I have friends that I play with, but I don't have an official band. Just gonna see how this album does and go from there. I mean, I have 12, 15 demos. I could do another album, but man, it's exhausting. Like, 
especially when you don't have a lot of resources. Something like this, it's great just to come here and and, and talk and play a song and get the word out. And, and I'm, I'm humbled that you had me here, so thanks. 